Like something out of an action movie, that is how an emotional Baltimore mayor has described the collapse of a major bridge in that US city overnight, declaring a state of emergency amid the desperate search for survivors. The 2.6 kilometre long Francis Scott Key Bridge came down when a large slip ship slammed into it in the early hours of the morning local time. Several construction workers were on the bridge at the time of the incident. Two have been rescued, but the remaining six are missing. Let's go straight to our correspondent Barbara Miller, who's on the scene there in Baltimore. Barbara, good morning to you. Talk us through what happened here. Well, this took place about 1.30 in the morning local time, Lisa. And as you say, a cargo ship ploughed into the key bridge. There's very, very dramatic footage of that happening. Now, if you look at that footage, what you see is that the lights on the cargo ship appear to be flickering as it approaches the bridge. And what authorities have now said is that there was an emergency call from the vessel shortly before the incident. And the crew said that they were having power issues, that there was a power outage. It plows into the pylon and really within seconds, the entire key bridge comes down. It just crumbles. We're just uh, on the north approach to that bridge now. Um, um, you can see perhaps in the background there just huge bits of the steel parts of this bridge sticking up from the water. This really all unfolded in, in as I say, just a matter of seconds. <clears throat> now, some conflicting reports from authorities uh, initially suggesting there were perhaps more people on that bridge. They're now talking in terms of those eight construction workers, two accounted for, but a major search operation underway for six people not yet accounted for. And what the governor, Wes Moore, is saying is that the emergency call from the cargo ship in advance allowed them to stop traffic here so that more people didn't flow onto the bridge. Investigation is still going on uh, to find out exactly exactly how many people in what situation. But the thing that we do know is that uh, is that uh, many of the vehicles were stopped before they got onto the bridge, which uh, which which uh, saved lives in a, in, a, in a very very heroic way. So we yeah, it's just incredible, Barbara. I mean, tens of thousands of people use this bridge. It is such a key part of infrastructure. So what happens now? What, what goes beyond Baltimore with this? That's right. Normally up and down here, this is a major East Coast artery. Say you were going from D.C., up to Delaware, up to New York. As you say, tens of thousands of people each day, an estimated 30,000 people, in fact, use this bridge. It's a way of bypassing Baltimore. But the port of Baltimore, which this cargo ship was departing, a major port, the major U.S. port for the import and export of cars. So the ramifications of this huge thousands of jobs tied up here at the port. And we've heard Lisa already from the president saying that he will move heaven and earth to try and get this port functioning again. No one's giving a timeline on that at the moment. And he's pro promising to try and get federal funding to rebuild this bridge. But for the moment, although the hopes are dwindling if not lost completely this is still a search operation for those missing workers and any other potential victims who were on that bridge as it collapsed in the early hours of this morning